so in today's session we'll be discussing about pdf automation okay so let me create a bot pdf automation Name is already used. Yes, already there. Let me check it here. Yeah, we have the task with the name of PDF automation. And now we will be discussing one by one the PDF. So I'm opening the PDF package. So here we have multiple pdf automation commands okay so first i'll go with the command called extract text so extract text is a simple thing so it will just read the all the data from the pdf So here we'll be having two types of data. One is plain text and the structured text. I'll show you what is the difference. So I'm taking the PDF file first of all. So here I need to take the PDF file. Let me save it. Here let me choose the desktop file. Here it is not allowing me to pick up the file. Okay. But I will do that in another way. Open my file explorer. File explorers. Let me check that uh, where I have the PDF files. Okay. So, uh, so we don't have okay. invoices. Here we have multiple PDF files. These are all PDF files. I'll be selecting one of the files. I will take a oh, now it's enabled. Let me select it from here. <coughs> Going to the ATCC folder here again. I'm opening the subfolder called devices and I'm opening the file this one. So I have selected this particular PDF file. Then here it is asking us. Uh, whether this PDF is in has the plain text or structured text. So I'll show you what is the difference. So for now, I'm selecting the plain text and how many pages you want to extract. As this page is having only one page, uh, only one page will be extracted. For suppose, assume that your uh, PDF document has the your PDF document has the 10 pages. So in that 10 pages, you just want to extract only five pages. Then you can say that one, two, five, like this. If you want to just only extract the third page, you can define like this. If you want to extract three and five, then you can define like this. So here after that, if you want to extract all the pages, you can select all the pages. But out of 10 pages, you want to extract only uh, uh, 4 to 7, assume that. Then I'll define like that, 4 7. Then 4 to 7 pages will be extracted. In another case, I just want to extract second page and ninth page. Then I can define like this with the separator of comma. Okay. For now, I'm extracting all the pages. And once it's extracted, where it has to be? stored it has to store in a text file so i'll be providing one text file i just want to save it i'll be saving wait 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 i can save it okay for now i'll be selecting this list but i'll be Renaming it PDF data. Now 
the data will be extracted and it will be saved in a text file with the name of pdf data.txt and for suppose if the file is already existed with the same name it should not throw the error for that i am selecting the override the file so now i am saving it running this is downloading the dependencies packages is downloaded okay. the pod has been executed just uh, open the pdf data file has been created in the form of plain text okay observe this like this this data is there i'll be extracting the same file as a structured text so when we use the structured text we will be having the data loss if we select that the data loss will be minimal okay i have selected this one so now so to maintain the difference i'll naming it as pdf data 2.txt if i execute this now it will be creating one more text file with the name of pdf data 2.txt Uh, what has been executed let me open this data file now see the previous format and this format see if we selected the structured format the data will be stored in the text file in a way like how it is there inside the pdf okay let me open see it will be similar to this pdf if i open this uh, pdf see, meanwhile observe the difference the same pdf file i have extracted as a plain text it has came like this one the same pdf file if i extracted as a structured text the output is in this way this is the difference the structured plain text means every line will be written line after line but if we selected the structured text it will follow the source document structure see in the source document structure we have the kind of data right so it will try to replicate the same procedure see product one product two quantity rate amount subtotal discount see it will try to maintain the same structure so that's the difference between structured data and plain data okay so this is about extracting the text and if you want to know the details of the this particular pdf for suppose let me create a dictionary variable and i just want to know that who is the author of that pdf so i am creating a variable pdf data okay and see here in this uh, dictionary type variable the key values are name title author and subject these are the key values okay for now what i'll do is simply i'll take a message box we take this message box from here so here i'll be selecting pdf data and i want to get the author details so that's the reason i have provided the key name as author so now it has to print that who is the author of this document the data is available in the pdf properties then only this data will be available to the bot if the data is not available in the original pdf document the data will not be available here as well let's try okay it got the error the reason is this document is in open state that's the reason uh, shown an error i just closed the document Really, content must not be none. Line number two, something happening. 
Okay, let me see this command. What is the command? That might be the typos. Okay, you see which one? See, maybe it doesn't have the author name. That might be the reason. Let me try with the title. Title, save it. And it one more time. Still, title also not available. We will type for another key like uh, what? The subject also. Let's try. If it's not that, that, that doesn't mean this PDF doesn't have this information. Let me try to find it. The document right? properties. Details tab name it has type it has but subject uh, author these details are not there. Let me try with the name at least. Okay, maybe this file doesn't uh, have any of these details. That's the reason it's not uh, giving any information here. But let me try the last option as well. What is here? The last option is subject type. Let me try with the subject as well. Perfect. <laughs> Trying. Doesn't have anything. Then now let me check one more time in the loop command. I'll go to the dictionary. For each key, I just want to get data and string. I'll try to print this language. <coughs> So now it will show us what are the keys available in this document. So simple, what I did is I just look through the each key of this particular dictionary variable. If this dictionary variable has two keys, this loop will be iterated two times. If the particular dictionary variable has four keys, this uh, particular loop will be iterated four times. And in every iteration, the result is going to be saved into a sample string. And the same thing is going to be printed in a message box so that we can come to know that what are all the available keys here? Okay. So let me run this now. PDF title is there. Okay, we the PDF finally we need to give like this. We need to give the PDF subject, PDF author. Okay, this is the reason. Okay, here, what I'll do is I'll print all those information one by one. So, here I'll be selecting this PDF data, and here I'll be passing. Okay, it's not possible to pass here. So, okay, let me type something like this. But here, I'll be passing the sample string. So in the first iteration, it will be PDF title. The next iteration, it will be PDF subject like this. It will work. Anyhow, let's run this now. So if you are not sure about the key titles, we can retrieve the key titles by using this loop, dictionary key loop. The invoice is the title. And this is the file name. It doesn't have any subject. 
and this file doesn't have any author okay like this we can fetch the details about a particular pdf this is about extracted text command from the pdf package okay fine uh, let's go with the another set of commands command. i am going back to the pdf package PDF package. So we are done with the extract text. Then the second one is extract field. Okay, I have selected the extract field, and here I need to select the file. From which file I need to extract the data. So simple. Again, I am going to the invoices folder, and I will be selecting the same Raju file. See earlier in the extract text, what we did is we extracted the complete text from a document okay here we are not going to extract the complete text from your document here simply we are going to extract some portion of the document and the next part is here the file is protected see if it is yes we need to provide the password for that file if it is no that file is not password protected file okay then what we have to do is we need to open pdf viewer we need to click on this Asking. Okay, select the PDF file. I'll be selecting the same file again. Yes. Let me go back. Invoices. <coughs> See, as this file doesn't have any password, I am not going to provide any password here. If it has, we have to provide the password here. Okay. Simply just a load. It will be extract. So here, simple thing. I want to extract the bill due data. So for this, what I'll do is, I'll see. I will click on this uh, drawing a reason button here. See, it will not be selected earlier. So first we have to select this one. Then we need to select the portion whatever we want to extract. I have extracted this, and then you can say that add custom reason. Then see it will be based on the coordinates. So if we change the monitor size, it may work or it may not be work. So we need to check that. But anyhow, for that to demonstrate this, we'll be showing it here. Do amount. provided that and see the key has been created and i just want to get the amount paid also so that's the reason i went here i have selected the amount paid again add custom reason and here i'll say that amount paid and simply i'll click on close button the new attribute also will be added so once it's added Close it. Now these two uh, fields has been extracted from this particular PDF file. Okay. So then we need to assign this to a particular dictionary variable. See, this is one key and this is another key. So these two keys will be assigned to a particular dictionary variable. I'm creating a, just a new dictionary PDF amounts. Simply saying that. Then I'll take a message box. This box. Do amount so here. Yes, of course. Just giving that you not profit. Let me type it. Do amount. Okay. 
the next one is amount paid by I will be typing that let me translate these two things to amount and amount paid let me run this one These two details has been fetched. So like this, we can extract the particular portion from a PDF file using the extract field command. Okay. Let's go to the PDF package again. So now we are done with the extract text and extract the fields, right? And the next command is we go with extract image. Simple. I'll be selecting the PDF file. See, by using this extract image command, simple guys, what will be happen is the particular PDF, whatever is there, that will be converted into a image format. Okay. okay, for this, let me take another file. So, you browse it. So, Else, let me go to the downloads. Okay, I'm just uh, taking this one use case one file. I believe it has more than one file. So I have selected that all the pages should be converted into images. Then type of the image to be converted. I want to convert into the JPEG. See, these are all different different image formats. I want to convert into the JPEG. Okay, hundred with the hundred percent quality. Where it has to be stored, okay. So where we can store it? So I will be storing this in the this particular folder in the consolidated folder. That's the folder path I'm just giving here. So here, image I'll be giving. This is the color file. I'm simply saving. See now, assume that if this PDF has the three pages, now three images will be created. The name of those three images will be image one, image two, and image three. Like this, it will work. I ran this bot, it is executing. So see here, this file has only two pages. That's the reason two images has been created. Each page has been created as a one image. So like this, we'll be converting the PDF file into images. Okay. Next is merge document. If you want to merge two documents, then this merge documents command will help us. Okay. I'm simply taking this and I need to add two PDFs, right? So I'll be taking the use case one and use case two. I'll take from the download folder. So I'll take use case one. Okay, it doesn't have any password, and I just want to get all the pages from this use case one document. I just added, and I'm adding one more document. Use case two. So again, I'm going to downloads and selecting the use case two. I added it. If you want to add one more, we can say like this. We can add a number of PDFs and we can merge them. For now, I'm just going with the two things and uh, output will be where I'll be saving that is. I'll be saving that uh, in the consolidated folder. Let me take the consolidated folder path. Here, this is the right. Just deleting these two image files. These are not required. Okay. Copy. So here I will be giving the path and I will say that merged files, merged file dot pdf. With this particular name, this uh, merged file will be 
करते भी मैं रन दिस ना हूं बट हैज बीन एग्जीक्यूटेड बाय ओपन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट नाउ सी दिस इट हैज टोटल फोर पेजेस ईच डॉक्यूमेंट हैज टू पेजेस राइट सो टोटल फोर पेजेस ओके बोथ द यूज केसेस हैज बीन मैच लाइक दिस वी कैन वर्क विद द मैच कमांड द सेम वे द स्प्लिट कमांड स्प्लिट कमांड कैन हेल्प अस टू स्प्लिट द डॉक्यूमेंट into multiple documents okay so i'm simply just uh, deleting this and i'll take the split document taking the split document and i'll be giving the file which we merged now and uh, how many pages to be extracted okay uh, i'll say that for each document one page should be there then if i split this one four pages will be created Or else, whenever you find the blank space, for suppose you have hundred pages uh, PDF document. After twenty lines, you have one blank space, and after fifty lines, you have another blank space, and after ninety lines, you have another blank. Space. So whenever you have the blank space, up to there, the book has to be split. Then you can select the blank space as a separator. Like this, you can work. But for now, I just want to go with the number of pages. So in my document, see for each page should be one separate PDF. So I'll be saving that in the consolidated folder only with the name of split. Okay. The files are there already. I'll simply say that what are the existing ones. Now four split files will be created. Split one, split two, split three, split four. So let me open the split three. It has been open. So like this, here every page became one separate document as per given instruction. This is about the split command and the get property. Get property is simple thing. Already we discussed whenever we explained about the extract text. So without do extracting also we can get the properties. That is what here they provided. Simply, we can select the file and we can assign the output to the dictionary variable, and we can access them. How we did when we are doing the extract text command. Okay, nothing much about this then. And encrypt document. Encrypt document is a simple thing, so it will protect your document with a password. So yes, I have selected this. So let me open. Consolidated folder in merged. This merged file should be encrypted. <coughs> so I have selected this. So at what level you have to encrypt? So you want to deny the print access on the document, or you want to deny the modify, or you want to deny the copy? Like this, so I am just doing at the accessibility level. So this is the encryption algorithm. So I just going with yes. So we can select whatever we want. Okay. Here, I'll say that. Encrypted dot PDF. I said that. Simply running this. The user password and owner password are same, and the different passwords. Yes, and when we need to enter the passwords, maybe. Okay, so we need to provide at least one password, like a user password or a owner password. If you want to provide both the passwords, so you both should be different ones. So I'm just providing the user password. I'll simply giving one to two. This is my password. With this particular password, this file will be encrypted. 
I run this now, see in the real time, we'll not be entering the password like this. We'll be picking at it uh, by using this uh, credential. Okay. When we are discussing about the credential, what uh, at that time I'll let you know how to work with this credential. For the practice purpose, you can go with this method by using the execution. Anyhow, our bot has been executed. See, the encrypted PDF has been created. See, it is asking me to enter the password because I protected at the accessibility level. Two, three, four, five. Okay. See, now it's open. Like this, it will work. In the same way, the decrypt will work to decrypt the encrypted file. So I'm simply taking the decrypt. And here I need to choose that encrypted file. So where it is in the console data that I have selected the encrypted. And here I need to provide the password which we use it to encrypt it. Okay. So I'm just giving the same password here. And here I just want to save it as decrypted. Overwrite. I am deleting this encrypted uh, one and I am running. So, these are the major commands about the PDF package, and here in the real time, remember that we'll be using most of the time extra text. So, please practice the extra text as much as possible and try to understand the concept. It will be helpful for you to work on real time environment. Okay. So now the bot has been executed and the decrypted file has been created. This time it, it's open without asking any password because I decrypted them. So like this, this decrypt command will work. Yes. So this is about the PDF part of it.